heavyweights of Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain. How will they fare on their return to domestic action? Well, both teams make no secret of their Champions League qualification aspirations and a win this evening for the hosts would provide a hearty boost to their own hopes, all the while putting a serious dent in their famous visitors' quest to hunt down the top two. Out of the Champions League, the league is now the main priority for Real Madrid head coach Alberto Torreal. His side sit 11 points off Barcelona and top spots, but have two games in hand. Their dreams of the first title were dealt a major setback at the start of November, the defeat in the first Clasico of the season. That remains the only domestic loss, however. They currently occupy third spot in Liga Efe, though they could have come into this encounter outside the European positions altogether, had Atletico held on for a win in Tenerife earlier. There's two changes for the hosts following their 2-1 loss to Levante last time out. Adana Cometi comes into the side in defence in place of young Sandra Biafanye, who's benched. Also benched is midfielder Grace Chanda. Karen Araya comes in for her. It means that Gabby Nunez and Rachel Kundanji lead the line. And in the middle today, Maria Gil Soriano of the Galician Federation. Flanking her with the flags, Iria Rosendo Contale and Marina Novas Benavides. Well, it was almost a month ago that Real Madrid lined up for their last Liga FA outing against Atletico. And Alberto Torreal names two changes to the 11 secured victory that day. Sandy Toletti is replaced by Sofia Sparva in defence, while Mighty Aron comes back into midfield in place of Olga Carmona. Mr. Gonzalez mans the attack. She's in no hurry. And we're underway in Fuenlabrada, and we're underway in 2023. Madrid club the football, taking on their close geographical and also their close cultural rivals, Real Madrid. The white strips that they sport were made in homage to the famous club. Sofia Svava returning to the side to chase that quick ball down. She's done enough to keep it alive too. There's trouble there for Cometti. Could be more trouble. Great save, but not enough to keep out the rebound. And Esther Gonzalez has already found her way into the lead. All the hard work done by Sofia Suave. She got the better of Aldana Cometti. Two players returning to their respective 11s. The battle was won by the Dane. And despite her best efforts, Paolo Ujoa just couldn't keep the ball out. Eighth league goal of the season for Esther Gonzalez. And has a, has a solid contender to lead this line week in, week out. It's not one that Kometi will want to see again. Quick thinking from Rujoa, but quicker from Esther. The reflex has paid dividends. And Real Madrid lead 1-0. Might see her off into Kenty Robles. That's going to run for Weir. Esther's in the middle. What's tracking back to do? Monica's got herself in a tangle. Finds Fele. She's going to go for goal, and she wasn't far away. Only inches away from making it a fourth in Liga FA. And a standing start as well. Short corner. Look, catch the visitors out. Punch in from Misa. Fele on the pickup. One back on the edge of the area. Might it fall for Kundanji. She's got the deflection. Great save. It's still there. Corner it will be off Mighty Orof. It was a drilled shot from Lauren that started it all off. Kundanji inches away. Pressure on. Here's the delivery. Goal words off the frame of the goal. A fizzing effort. Lisa getting the vital, the fizzing effort. Lisa getting the vital touch it needed, the vital touch it needed. And then Angie trying to steal the run on Kenty Robles. Here's Araya. And then Angie outside, she's going to go alone. What was the trigger from long range? Good control. Open up some space on the right foot. 
at the angle just wrong. The 26 year old only missed one game this season. Holding to defence once again, it goes short to Weir. Weir from distance, saved by the goalkeeper Esther again on the follow up. She's got that striker's instinct. Buries the ball home for a second. And despite the home side's resistance, it's a ninth league goal of the season for Esther Gonzalez. Real Madrid showing their class once again. Both sides in cup action in the week to come. All about the league tonight, though. Here's Weir. Weir with a long shot. Oh, what a brilliant goal. Caroline Weir. Sixth league goal of the season. And that one has to be the pick. We've seen industrial tap-ins from Esther Gonzalez so far, but that's one for the showreel. Plenty of distance, but some green space opened up for it. No block forthcoming from Norden. With the wand of a left boot. She whips it past the stranded goalkeeper. And three points. Look to be heading back to the city proper. Well, if the match ends so, it will reflect well on Real Madrid, of course, but doesn't tell the full story from the first half. And a different tail in the second, much less dominant the home side. And here's Fele, looking for a side's fourth. It was put off by Ana Gonzalez. Pinios' clearance, Kundanji away. The flag has stayed down. She's got options in the middle, and she can find Bon Segundo. Might go herself. Bosses the save out to Misa Rodriguez. That ball's still in play. Corner will be the end result. So much pace and the dangerous Zambian weapon. But straight inside Rocio Galvez. Looked to be an awkward throw. To the near right hand side, but it was dealt with well by Kenty Robles. Covered ground quickly, the Mexican. And it's given away by Esther. Here's Kundinanji. Is this her moment? Onto the left foot. Off the frame of the goal. Just isn't her day. Pure frustration for the striker. Skips up off the turf and agonizingly on well, the Zambian international onto the post. Now Schwab. Matia Roth down the line. That's Garcia's ball. Up against Loren. Now Svava. Fele making a beeline for the centre, it might yet come to the Frenchwoman. What a brilliant save by the goalkeeper, she's just got enough on it to keep it away. Quality ball from Sofia Sparva. But the tackle, just as good as the save from Narita Dominguez to put Naomi Fele off. So no shot. So they have ball over hit. Ray up, Stilly Olofsson is ready to come on on the sidelines. Well, here's Ball. Real Madrid threatening again. What a finish, Matia off. A mute celebration. The job has long been done here in Fuenlabrada. But the Real Madrid midfield seemingly doing their utmost to outdo each other in the finishing stakes. Disappointment for Paolo Ujoa. Anti Robles' throw, up towards Weir. Put it away from Monica. That'll be the final play. It was a gallant effort from Madrid club de football. They dared to challenge the very best up at the top, but with courage, sometimes comes heavy defeat. And that's what they've been dished out in Fuenlabrada tonight. Their dream of reaching Europe for the first time, still well and truly alive. They'll keep their fifth place in Liga FA, but tonight belongs to Real Madrid. Two goals in the first half from Esther Gonzalez.
two quick thinking finishes, striker's instinct, and then long range efforts from Caroline Weir and Mighty Aroth have sealed the points for Alberto Toriel's girls. They keep the pressure on the top two, doing their utmost to keep pace with the leading rights.